Hi, I'm Thomas Paulsen, and I'd like to share with you my experience of getting started using Julia. My programming background is in Fortran, which I learned during my studies. Later I learned Perl, and for the past 15 years I have mainly been using R. I work for Novozymes, a biotechnology company developing and producing enzymes for industrial applications such as biofuels, detergents, foods and feed. In the lab I mainly work with plate readers which look like this, or like this, or like this, and they all have their own proprietary software packages writing files in their own particular format. So over the years I have developed an R package for working with these files and producing plots like this one, which shows the actual measured data together with a fitted curve that represents the enzyme activity. Lately, I have been turning this into Julia, and here I can make plots like this, or like this, or like this. Connect with me if you want to talk about what these plots are showing. In R, I like working with flexible data frames, but they also tend to get a little messy and accumulate a lot of columns of intermediate results. So in Julia, I'm happy to have the structs, which are more clean. And here I have structs of a reader curve, a fitted reader curve, a plate of reader curves, and even a run of plates of reader curves. Uh, getting into Julia has uh, also given, had uh, some challenges. For instance, uh, the compilation times that tend to interrupt the flow a little bit. Uh, getting Julia to run on our internal Jupyter hub was a bit difficult because it doesn't have an internet connection. But on the plus side, there are nice packages like Package Compiler that enables me to write standalone binaries that I can easily share with my colleagues. Unfortunately, it didn't work with the plots, so I had to split up the package in two different repositories. Here's a short demonstration. First, I load the packages, then I load some data, then I fit a smoothing spline to the data, then I extract a quadrant out of a 384 well plate. I can plot it like this, not as nice as what I have in R, but still very useful. I have diagnostics plots like this, which are new compared to the R package. And then I can extract the activity data out into a data frame that I can share with other tools or save in a spreadsheet or plot like this. I hope to connect with other users on the conference working in similar industries or similar, interested in similar problems. Thank you for listening and see you around at the conference. Oh, and by the way, I made this plot, uh, this slide back in 2018, where I predicted that Julia would be ready for general consumption by 2022. I think that's a pretty safe prediction now. Thank you for your attention. See you around.